Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can send email from a Node.js application. And for this tutorial, we are going to use this dependency, Node Mailer. So let's create a new project for this tutorial. Here in this folder, creating a new npm project by running npm init. And this is basically a wizard asking us a couple of questions and we are answering them. But we can just answer them with this Y option. So it is skipping all the uh, questions and generating a packet JSON for us. So it created this file. Now we are going to have a new file here. This is going to be index.js. And this is going to be a Node.js application and we are going to be using the, the Express. So let's install that one first. This is the Express dependency. So let's uh, create our Express application. First thing is we are importing the Express from the dependency. And we are creating our application. And our application will be listening the port 3000. And let's make sure we lock the app is running. So we are going to run this index and let's update this script. We will have a start script and that's going to be running node index. So the index file will be run with the node command. So let's run the application. So the app is running. And um, if we send a request to this uh, application, uh, it's listening the port 3000. And uh, for sending requests, I'm going to use this extension Thunder client. And let's create a new request. And the endpoint is localhost 3000. Currently, we don't have any uh, endpoint. It, this is the default uh, response from the server. It is returning 404, not found because uh, currently we don't have any implementation there. Uh, but we are going to have an endpoint to send an email. And um, for that one, first thing is let's install the dependency of node mailer. This one, npm install node mailer. And let's get that package node mailer from this node mailer dependency. Now we are going to create, um, let's call this one as transporter. And this is going to be node mailer create transport. So we are going to create the transporter where this function and this function is taking an object uh, for the SMTP configuration. So we must be uh, passing the SMTP configuration here, like the, the host of the server, the port, and the, the out uh, of the server, the credentials, which user is going to be authenticated to this email server so that uh, we would be able to send the request via that uh, server. So uh, for the server part, we are going to use an email service, this one, Ethereal email. And this is a fake SMTP service. We are going to send a request to this service, but the, the mail will not be delivered to the real users. So it is just taking the request and storing that messages, that emails, and that's it. So let's uh, create an Ethereal account like this. Here, the account is created, the username, the password is like this. And we also have a right here, this node mailer configuration part. So it's calling node mailer create transport with this host port and the out, just copying this part and replacing it right here. So we have this transporter now, and let's add a new endpoint here. And let's say we are going to send a post request to this endpoint. Let's call this one as email. And now we are going to use this transporter and we will be calling its send mail method. And it is taking mail options. 
the options are just like the the fields of the email so we have the two field and we can say this is target user at mail.com and we can set the from user uh, like the from user at mail.com and we can set subject for our mail subject of this mail and we can set the body uh, we can go with the text and this is a text formatted body or we can go with the with html and we can have um, the headers and the, the other html elements so we can style the content of our uh, email but let's go with the text so this is the content and uh, when this endpoint receives this request let's make sure we return back a response having the message of saying the the mail is sent successfully so saving this one and running the application once again and let's send a request from this thunder client sending a post request to this email endpoint currently we don't care about the the request body part or anything we just take the request but we just create our own message and send it to the to the uh, ethereal server so clicking send here we are receiving the success message back and if we open the the ethereal here we have the option to open the inbox so we can go to inbox and here we have this mail right here so this one the ethereal email one is the auto-generated email and this one is our actual email sent by our application and if we click this one here it is opening the details of the email like the, the content and the from two parts and the subject so that's how we can access to the mail and see the details uh, by the way we can access to the uh, mail uh, like this here in index uh, we can uh, wait for the send result so let's turn this function into async await so we can get the uh, let's say the info after the transport by by awaiting this transporter sent mail so this is going to be uh, returning back an, uh, an information about the the send operation and uh, from this one we can just uh, get the path to the uh, the email so we can use the node mailer dependency we just imported here and we can get the test message url and we pass the info to it so this is returning the the email path and we can just log that one so saving it and running the application once again so sending a new request here the request is success and in the console we see this link this url just copying this one and going back to this window pasting this url and here we see that message so the ethereal is useful for the development environment but of course we are not limited with the ethereal usages we can use any smtp server for this node mailer and uh, it also has uh, configurations for uh, the well-known services so the, these are the services supported services for the the node mailer like a gmail or uh, the others the hotmail yahoo and so on and uh, all we need to do is for using these uh, services uh, we can just update this transport part by replacing this host with service and use let's say gmail and we don't need to define the port because the node mailer is already aware what is the configuration required for the gmail service and all we need to do is update this part with the authentication is your account at gmail.com and this is your password 
and also we need to update uh, the the from part of the mails uh, this must be your user otherwise uh, gmail is rejecting that request because in this request we are typing any uh, email we want and it looks like we are sending an email on behalf of someone else and uh, gmail is not allowing that one or other email services may not be allowing these two so pay attention to this part uh, when you are sending um, an email via um, a real server real smt server your from uh, must be matching with the the user you are using to to connect to that server uh, that's all for this tutorial and this was just a basic demonstration about how to send email with this node mailer. If you have been watching my previous tutorials, we had the application for the user registration and we can associate this email send operation to the user registration part. And uh, for that case, we can keep the user as inactive and send a link to that user's email address so that user can open the email and click the, the link to activate their account. Uh, we can put this email functionality into the registration flow uh, like that. So you can uh, practice that part by yourself to bring these pieces together to create a flow like that. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials.